on Fargo versus Chicago. Yeah, this is one of our feature bouts before we get to the title fights. And Nick, we're gonna we're gonna get this train rolling downhill. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing your first fighter out of the blue corner. G Sports a record of two wins with one defeat. Weighing in at 129.8 pounds. Standing at five foot four inches, representing the Academy. Fighting out of Fargo, North Dakota, Shaylee Lamb! And her opponent out of the red corner, boasting a record of four wins and one defeat. Weighing in at 130.8 pounds, standing at five foot five inches, representing hybrid martial arts, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Nicola! Nicola Kasperska, she is in the black Hayabusa trunks with the hybrid jiu-jitsu, black and red top. On the other side, we got Shaylee Lip, black trunks and white and black top. Shaylee Lip close to the, takes the center of the cage. Gauging each other's distance here. Lots of respect from each other. Yes, and oh, oh my God, heavy wow. right hand by Shaylee Lip. It drops Nicola Kasperska. Nicola in for a single leg. She recovered fast. Oh, and gets the takedown. Good job, Nicola Kasperska. Well, Facing a little bit of adversity there. Game plan will change when you get punched in the face. We're on, we took it to the ground, didn't we? You know, that punch definitely affected her, but as of right now, I guarantee those cobwebs are shaking off. Yeah, well, you can contribute that to her great conditioning. And those both these girls are in tremendous shape. And uh, you can recover real fast when you have great conditioning yeah, like absolutely. they do. Yeah, Josh Bulak, hybrid mixed martial arts, formerly Team No Comment. Good underhook control from uh, Shaylee Lip. Yeah, Shaylee Lip has got a little bit of pressure. If I'm Shaylee, I'm going to try to look, maybe create a little bit of distance. Grinding her forehead into Karpeska, making it uh, hard to think. I'd like to see her start landing those knees. She's got great, big, strong legs. She should be beating her up with those. Ooh, nice knee to the midsection. Shaylee Lip again. Pounding on the midsection of Nicole Kasperska. Shaylee Lip. You've got Shoney Carter here in the background shouting out instructions, and Shaylee Lip is following him. <laughs> yeah, Shoney Carter is a uh, brilliant Nicole Kasperska looking at her corner for some instructions, and we are back to standing up. Let's see how much Kasperska uh, respects that straight left hand now. Yeah, that southpaw is, it, it could be you know, a little frustrating at first. It's a, it's a quick learning curve if you're not boxing against southpaws in the gym. Well, if you're taking a look right now. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Heavy left hand again. Shaylee Lip followed by a knee to the stomach. Shaylee Lip looks like a completely different fighter than we had saw. In she definitely <laughs> went back and uh, did some study and did some regrouping. And now some offense from Ker Kerpeska. Putting lip against the cage. Very impressive. There we go. Shaylee's corner calling for the frame there, and now she's doing it. Kapreska smart. She's engaging with Shaylee Lip in her own corner, so she's within earshot of Josh Bulak, her, her coach. And take a look at the, the front foot of Kerpeska. She needs to have that on the outside of Shaylee Lip's leg. She needs to circle away from her power. Because it's a southpaw. Exactly. Traditionally speaking, she is doing everything correct, with the exception is that she's fighting a southpaw. Correct, Nick Rogers. Ooh. Good, good right hook by Kerpeska. And Kerpeska's going to have to make some adjustments. Yeah, she's, she's going to continue to eat that straight left hand if she doesn't start circling away from that power and staying outside that lead foot. Good game plan from Shaylee Lip and her team. Uh, they've, they've clearly won that first round, so we've, we've, got to, we've got to go back to the drawing board back in the red corner. Yeah, if I'm Josh Bulak, I'm you know, coming with a little bit of insight, maybe how to close the distance a little better and certainly inform her that the person that she's fighting is a southpaw, which obviously he already known, knew. But break the little gym habits and 
either lead with your right hand or walk the other way. It's one of the two. One of the two. Yes. Or put her on her back because she does have a great ground game. Yes. She, I mean, if she's not feeling comfortable on the feet, let's put it on the floor and let's yes. control yes. and see where it goes. Yeah, and, and you know, making adjustments right now, you just got to tell, like, in regards to fighting a southpaw, sometimes you know, game plans get thrown out the window. I'm telling her to re lead with her right hand. Use yeah. your right as your jab. Absolutely. Square up, square up, use your right as your jab. Make it easy. Yep. Slip off, uh, off to the outside off of her jab and throw that right hand straight down the center. She's got those options. Round number two, here we go. Shaley right. Lips corner telling her to circle right. Attempted a head kick there. Shaley Lip respecting the distance here, waiting to engage. You see Kasperska a little more squared up right now. I wonder if uh, Kerpeska's corner stated to, to come back and chop up that lead leg, take away that ability for that, uh, that, that southpaw jab. Super woman punch by Shaley Lip, followed by a one-two punch. Kasperska stalking Shaley Lip. She's smelling blood, and she's coming and swinging. A heavy wow, right hand again, go. using that right hand as wow. her power lead hand. These two women are going at it. There is no quit in Nikola Kasperska. Somebody woke well, Kuspeska up, and she is ready to fight now. Squaring up, using that right hand. I think somebody just called that. Man, that man, dude, God. <laughs> Every time I say no, it means just keep going. <laughs> Respecting the distance again. Shaley Lip also should be leading with her power hand. If she's got a, a person squared up with her, right from the chin, right hand. Oh, Spinning back fist by Shaley Lip just misses. And Nicole Kasperska looks like she's tilted the table. Got a nice big red welt on the left side of Shaley Lip's head. Oh, heavy right Ooh. hand again by Nicole Kasperska. Shaley Lip cannot eat a lot of those. She can't afford to eat those, many of those. Oh, almost landed that head kick. You know, Kerpeska's slipping her head out to the outside, throwing that overhand right, which has landed twice for her. Oh, heavy right hand by Lip. This is a hard round to judge. A heavy, once there again, two, go. three, four bright bands by Kerspeska. And making a staple on where this round should go is Nikola Kasperska. Look at the focus. She went back into her corner, and a corner said she's down one round, and she came out, and she had to win this one, and that's yeah. exactly what she's doing. I thought I heard that 10-second clacker. Looks like we're at 37 seconds left. Plenty of time. Ooh, good leg kick. Almost ate a right hand or a left hand for her uh, her troubles. Look at the welt. Look at the welt on her Kasperska. Y you know, when you are under uh, Shidley Lip's eye, you know, Nick, as you can attest, sometimes when you need to get the respect of somebody, you just have to throw at the exact same time in order not to get bullied yep. and throw more. Like, if you know she's throwing three, you've got to throw five. Left, right, yep. punch once again by Nicole Kasperska. This round is going to be won by Nicole Kerpeska purely off of overwhelming her opponent. You got a tight clinch by Shaley Lip. Got a nice little mouse under the right eye of Shaley Lip. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is swelling up, and it's swelling up fast. Yeah, there's, I mean, I hate to say it like this. I mean, it's one-to-one, -one, but the confidence coming out of Josh Bullock's corner, the adjustments that Josh told Nicola to make, she listened. And, and it's paying off. Five, not one or two punches, but three, four, five, six punches are what won her that round. Yes. And being aggressive, not, yes. being, not, not being backing down. Applying the in swell to Shaley Lip's eye is her corner. That is a nice mouse. Yes. Oh, yes. I think Shaley Lip is going to have to go back to the drawing board, maybe lead with the right hand. And, and, and I think maybe one of the issues that she's running into, Nick, is she's throwing threes. And she's throwing her punches in threes. Yeah. And if you watch Nicola, she matches it and then gets two more in. Exactly. It's, so. it's that follow-up four, five, six punches yes. that, that and are landing. And they're made. They're just, yeah. Lip has got to get out on her wheels. She's got to. She's got to be lateral. She can't be just forward and backwards. Nicole Kasperska quickly takes the center of the cage, and these women. 
Look for Kerpeska to be targeting that eye. Oh, oh, my gosh. Heavy oh. right hand. Nicole Kasperska gets dropped. It's Big Shaley check Lip. hook. Check hook by, Kasper by, by Shaley Lip. Shaley Lip is going to have a little bit of urgency based on the swelling on that eye. She needs to trap that uh, left arm of Kerpeska and start to rain down some punches. I think if she's... If Shaylee's going to be going for that arm triangle choke, she's going to have to change her hips. Yes. All right. Cup your ear on the left hand, or the right hand side, and then go ahead and put your knee on that arm, and then rain down some punches because there's some cobwebs right now, and she's trying to gather her wits. Yes. And Kasperska also, to her credit, also landed two or three solid punches on her own. It, that was a coin toss. Like we, we watched a coin toss exchange with Shaylee Lip being on the better end of it. And a reversal oh, wow. by Nicola Kasperska. Nick Rogers, we started with the heavyweight saying that this might be fight of the night. And look where we're at. I, I am being quickly won over by these females right now. <laughs> Good stack from Kerpeska. She's avoiding this uh, triangle attempt from Lip from the bottom. And the grit that Kasperska has shown ever since, like the... Uh, the adversity that she that we saw her face in the first round speaks volumes of, of her character. Lips a little too uh, stuck on the cage there to transition to an arm bar. Maybe she should look to kick one of those legs out and look for a sweep. Nicole Kas uh, Shaley Lip weaving her legs over the shoulder of Nicole Kasperska. She is heavily committed there. She's transitioning for that arm bar. Oh, and she snags an arm bar and Getting loose is Kasperska with peppering punches with one minute left. Nick, this is a really hard round to call. We, you know, we've had a drop, we've had control, we've had reversals, we've had submission attempts. We're getting the whole gambit. If I'm Shaley Lip, I might be looking at cage walking yep. right now. She's got to get on a hip. She's got to. She's got to try to get uh, take a back or or get her back on the cage. This ride time is not helping her cause no. to win this round. And Nicole Kasperska has shaken the cobwebs off and peppering there we the go. already swollen eye of Shaley Lip. Looking the back door out, take uh, Kerpeska's back. With 20 seconds left, I don't know, I think it might be too little too late to attempt that. It's like ride time versus power. This is really a difficult thing to judge. She's got to hope that that lead hook that dropped uh, Kerpeska at the beginning of the round is going to win it for her. And Shaley Lip has got to get off her. Stop. Looks like we're going to run out of time here. Oh, wow. What a fight. I don't know. Does ride time, I mean, significant ride time at that, does that outweigh the knockdown? You know, in most, you mean, judge, in most judges' eyes, I think it would. You know, there's also what is referred to as a recency bias, which everybody complains about. But, you know, it's also called judging. Right. In terms of recency bias, you've had over a minute of ride time towards the end. And, um, man, this is not an easy one. You know, here, you want to talk about experience? Right now, if you're, if you're Shaley Lip, you should be jumping around the cage, yep. raising your hands. Yep, showing yep. those judges. Even if it's that little tiny thing and it's yep. obviously not in the fight. Yep. Whoo, this it, one's hard. Same thing for Kerpeska. She needs to get her hands up in the air. If it's this close, you, got, you have to show those judges that you, uh, you earned it. You want it more than any other opponent. Wow, we're going to make this one official. Send it to our ring announcer, Trez Mala. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner by a split decision. From the blue corner, Shaylee Lynn. Ladies and gentlemen, hold up, Nicole. We got to talk to you as well. I'm with your winner, Shaylee Lip. Shaylee, the grit and fortitude that your opponent had was it surprising. Yeah, honestly, it was. I thought I was a little more prepared. She caught me off guard right away. She bit down on her mouthpiece in that second round. She looked like she, she took the second round after a very dominant first round of yourself. Was that kind of surprising to you as well? Yeah, you know what I mean? It was definitely a fight. We both landed our fair share of heavy strikes. The welt under your eye looked to be growing, and her leading with her right hand, it seemed to be giving you issues. How was dealing with her power? Um, you know, it's just like any other fight. You're always going to have to deal with adversity, and I did that to the best of my ability tonight. 
Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Shaylee Lip. On the other side of the card, we've got this warrior all the way from Lodz, Poland, Nikola Kasperska. Nikola, the adjustments that your corner man, Josh Bulak, made into the second round, did you think you were able, did you think that you had the ability to finish Shaylee Lip? I mean, I tried did as much as I could. Yeah, I could keep my hands a little bit there, but otherwise I tried my best, so. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You seem to bite down on your mouthpiece and just find energy going into that second round. What was the adjustment your corner Joshua Bullock told you? Well, you know, just go after it. The first round I knew that I lost, so I tried to try to do my best, come out stronger, and I think I provided. I mean, it was I was short, you know. But with a split decision, ladies and gentlemen, these ladies may have stolen fight of the night. Josh Bullock did a fantastic job doing adjustments in that second round. Thank you.